Hello, Mrs Akers here. Today's session is all about the two times table again. Let's get started. Did you have a go at the practice activity I left you? Did you find some things for counting twos? I did. Look what I found. I got some socks. I got a big pile of socks and the first thing I did was I matched them and matched them into pairs of socks that went the same, two socks the same. And then I made them into groups of two. Do you remember we rolled the top over and we made our groups of two? And then I used my silent counting to remember how many groups of two I'd counted. Join in with me and let's count my socks. Let's count the groups of my socks. Here we go. Zero groups of two is zero. One group of two is two. Two groups of two are four. Three groups of two are six. Four groups of two are eight. Four twos are eight. Excellent. Then I got my Lego men. They're my sons actually. Got quite a lot. And I put them into groups of two. And then I skip counted them and I used my fingers silently. Join in with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I had eight groups of two. Eight groups of two are sixteen. Hope you had a great practice with yours too. Now we've got some shoes to count. Let's see if we can count them together. Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, four five, six. I've got six shoes. Oh, Mrs Akers, what could I have done? What could I have done, everybody? I could have counted them in twos. We're really good at that now. I didn't need to count them in ones, did I? They're in pairs. They're in groups of two. So let's have another go this time. Count with me. Let's quickly count them in twos. Here we go. Two, four, six. Did you see how much quicker that was? One, two, three, four, five, six. Counting in ones is quite slow. Counting in twos is quite quick. Two, four, six. Now we need to collect some bits together to do in the next part of the session. So in a minute you might want to pause and go and get them. Last time I asked you to go and get some paper. You might get some white paper or you could have some coloured paper. Doesn't matter, whatever you've got. Um, it could even be the pack, back of a cereal packet. That would be fine as well. And I said, could you cut it into strips like we've got in the paper here? Um, so go pause here, go and collect what you need. And then as you come back and press play, I'll show you what to do with it. OK, press pause. See you in a minute. OK, you got all your bits together? OK, let's see what to do with them. So I asked you to cut your strip into paper. All I did was I got my piece of A4 paper and I got my scissors. Move back a bit, can you see? And I just cut the whole strip off the end. And I did that three times, okay? And then, can you see, I got my strips of paper, my three bits, and I put one on top of the other. And then I cut them exactly in half, and each half I cut in half again, just down the middle. So I had lots and lots of little bits, like you can see in this picture here, and they were all the same size. Doesn't matter what size, they can be big pieces, little pieces, but they just need to be the same size. So pause here while you just go and make those, and then I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here are our shoes. How many shoes were there? That's right, six shoes. Six shoes all together. And how many shoes were in each group? Yep, two. Two shoes in each group. Three groups of two are six. And we're going to use our bar model to represent this today. And this is what we're going to do. So first, we're going to get our first bar of two. And second, and third and we're going to line them up next to each other. I'm going to show you how to do this in a minute. Then we're going to draw our whole six all together above. We're going to draw the whole bar above and then the six because we know then 
that three twos are six and six is equal to three twos. Let's see how we're going to do this. Watch here. First, you're going to choose your strips of paper to be your bar model and you're going to match them up as if they're under the shoes and you're going to write one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two. And then we're going to match the same length, the same size, the whole group of six above it. And then underneath we can write three times two is equal to six and six is equal to three twos. So go get your strips of paper and go and have a go. Pause here for a moment and see you in a minute. OK, let's just check that we know what each part of our multiplication equation means. So look down here, look at our multiplication equations. What does this three represent? You tell me. That's right. It's the number of groups. There are three groups. What does the two represent? Tell me. That's right. It's the number of shoes in each group. And what does the six represent? That's right. It represents the whole amount, the whole amount. Let's have a look. So we've got the two, the two and the two. Three groups of two is equal to six. Did you notice this? Did you notice that the whole six bar is the same size as the three twos? They're the same size because three times two is equal to six. They're equivalent. And that's why here it doesn't matter where the whole amount goes on the side of the equals sign because they're equivalent. Three times two is equal to six. Six is equal to three times two. In this session, we're also going to learn some new words. Did you see that word come in on that yellow star? Can you read it? Yeah, it says product. Say it for me. Product. That's correct. Product. The product is how many there are all together. Can you say that with me? The product is how many there are all together. Can you whisper it to me? The product is how many there are all together. Can you say it like a robot? The product is how many there are all together. <laughs> Can you say it in your normal voice again? The product is how many there are all together. So how many shoes are there all together? Six, that's right. So six is the product. OK, here's our next new word for this session. This word is factor. Factor. Can you say that? Factor. OK, now we already know that in our multiplication equations, we know that six is the product. So which numbers do you think are called factors? Which numbers do you think? You're right. It's three and two. The number three and the number two are the factors. Six is the product. So three twos are six. Factor times factor is equal to the product. You got that? Factor. OK, you might want to pause here again in a second and go and get your strips of paper again and your pen. And we're going to write our new words to help us learn about them. OK, so go get your strips of paper and copy these words. You need one that says product and what two that say factor. You need a time sign and an equal sign. So pause here now, go get your strips of paper and go and write your words. See you in a minute. OK, so go and arrange your words, factor, factor, product, the time sign and the equal signs next to the bar model you made. And then check here. Did you get the same as this? 
we have learnt that factor times factor is equal to product. Did you match it to your multiplication equation? Well done. We also know that 6 is equal to 3 times 2 and product is equal to factor times factor. Can you get your word cards now and rearrange them so that they match this sentence? Product is equal to factor times factor. Go and have a go. OK, did you manage? Have a look at mine here. Product is equal to factor times factor. Did yours get, did you get the same? Does yours match mine? Well done. So we know now that factor times factor is equal to product and product is equal to factor times factor. It doesn't matter where the equal sign is, the product is still equal to factors times factor or factor times factor is equal to product, they're equivalent. Let's have another go. OK, here's our number two. And remember, he's a group of two blocks. Do you remember that? OK, so how many groups have we got? That's right. We've got five groups of two. Five groups of two. Five groups of two are, shall we do our skip counting? Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Five groups of two are ten. Can you get your strips of paper and make your bar model now to make ten? A whole ten. And can you make it so that you remember to write your multiplication equations? Five twos are ten. And if we know that, we know ten is equal to five twos. And then can you use your new word cards of factor, factor and product? and show that factor times factor is equal to product and product is equal to, you're right, factor times factor. OK, so did you do it? Let's have a look. Is this what you made? And did you do, what does the 5 represent here, remember? What is it? The number of groups. Well done. And what does the two represent? The number in each group. And what does the ten represent? That's right, the whole number all together. What do we call the whole amount all together? We call it the product. Well done. And what are the other two called? The factors. And can you say your sentence with me you made? Factor times factor is equal to product. Product is equal to factor times factor. Great learning today. You ready for your practice activity? OK, for your practice activity this time, um, use your strips of paper to go and make some groups of two bar models. Go and make some bar models for your two times table. You might do three twos, four twos, six twos, ten twos. But remember, whatever you make in your groups of two, your whole amount, your product needs to be the same size. Remember, this top whole bar is the same size as the groups of twos when they're put together. They are equivalent. OK, and then. Can you make sure you have a go at writing your multiplication equations? And then use your new words, I put them in red here to remind you, of product and factors to go and tell somebody what are the products and what are the factors in your multiplication equations. Have fun. Bye.